Today is the 21st day of February 2021 in my birthplace of Abaco, Bahamas. When I do these videos, it's for education. Sometimes it may seem that I'm bashing, but there's an underlying statement in every video I do for those who dare have more than the D average education to feel me. We went through hell during Hurricane Dorian and most of us in Abaco are still going through eternal hell. Loyalty, I, I just want to educate you and see if you read me. People that are loyal to a party and diehards, they get nothing. My mother said, before the hurricane took her, she said, an old fool is the way to start a fool. You can't educate them. I'm trying to educate you. How many of y'all since Hurricane Dorian have had any of the political parties ask what can they do to help you after Hurricane Dorian? How many of the parties have been to your house? How many of the people that is running have asked you how can they help from September 1st, 2019 to today's date, February 21st, 2021. But it's political season. You will see them now coming into your homes and demanding and telling you whom to support. Let's use Kai Mills as an example. I was once those die hard. I voted three times in my life, not for the party, but I did vote my first time was PLP. My second time was independent. My next time was FNM. And all the other times I voted for myself because I never saw it make a difference. I voted for Hubert Ingram, the man, not the party. And you will find out in this election, a lot of people are gonna work, vote for the man. I voted for the man most of my life, three times. My mother died, was buried in Nassau, never even got a phone call. They forgot all the good that you have done because when you cannot follow them and listen to their advice, you become useless. But I want to tell all the Hubert Ingrams in the world, Kai worth something. They forgot all the doors you knock on, all the flags, all the hell you raise in their name. But when it comes your time, because you decide to man up, and make a choice on your own, you become the enemy. They forgot all the years that you done good. When Hubert Ingram mother died, grandmother died, I puckered up. I was at her funeral, but all the loyalty I've shown towards Hubert Ingram, when my mother died, never got a phone call. How many of y'all has been loyal to the FNM and, and not a call? 40 years, Hubert Ingram was there and we made him richer than he ever expected. We gave him all the powers to be, but have he built one 
home sense hurricane Doreen. He got the money. Oh, he got the money. And all he got to do is make the call, you know. If he would have made the call, you could have got the lumber, material. He still have what I call political clout. He still didn't have to pocket up. He has the numbers. He could have made the call to make sure that some material come to the people in North Abaco. And especially the ones that needed the most. But because we were loyal and we are diehard and he has no use for us anymore. Boy, if he would have decided to come back today and say he's running for the FM in North Abaco, man, you will see truckloads, boatloads of material rushing to the waters of North Abaco. But because he doesn't need us like we need him. We are nothing. Watch this political season. Watch the people that have not been in your house or ask her if you're living or you're dead. Since Hurricane Dorian, all of a sudden, they're brave. They're brass. They're, they're, they're unbelievable. They now will come in your house and demand that you do what they say and to vote for who they say to vote for. All of a sudden, the hurricane took all your brains away. You don't have no mind to think of what to do. These people, diehards, loyal, will come and say, Vote for this, that, and the other. And you ask yourself, why? What you haven't got before Hurricane Dorian, you will not get after the election. Somebody will say, oh, there's a lot of monies going to be in this election. Well, all the time you've been voting, how much money have you accumulated if there is a million dollars to be spread in North Abaco, there will be the same people from the same political party would get the bag. And, the, and if there is a million dollars in the bag, only you could get a t-shirt, a hat, and a sticker. That's all you've gotten for 40 years. And you voted for representation and you haven't gotten that yet. Ask Darren Henfield. Have he done as much as he can do. By leaving the woods. The material. To rot on the ground. On the road to Spring City. But there will be those diehards. Red from head to toe. And say elect Darren Henfield. To have another five years of misery. No representation, not even one meeting in four years. But they still want you to vote for them. Kai is still here trying to educate the diehards. What you see is happening in North Abaco now, if you get the same representation, the same person at the helm, fast forward, and that will be 10 years you've wasted of your life voting for somebody who you think that would care now. When from Hurricane Dorian to now, they haven't spoke to you. So how dare they open your door and say, vote FNM, vote Darren Henfield. Die hearts, wake up. It is your chance to make a change. Kai cares. That's why he's still here.